Hello world, welcome back to another video. Today is a very special episode because I have a very good friend of mine and an amazing engineer, Mr. Pepe Scavellone, who is our guest today. Welcome Pepe. Hi guys. We had uh, an amazing discussion with Pepe that sparked and ignited the interest behind our previous video about clean architecture. Um, he played a very big role in that and after that we received some questions and one of the things that have, has been discussed a lot is what is a repository? What is a use case? What exactly is the difference? And bonus question, if we have to omit one, which one should it be? Because Google has um, a recommendation for that, but we may have a little bit of a different yes. opinion. So, yeah. Pepe. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your introduction. Thank you for being here. Thank you for you guys watching us. This is going to be an interesting episode. Wait till the end. Of course, it's important. First of all, let's uh, make a brief introduction, I think, yes. for those who didn't watch the video, but please go and watch it because it's really inspiring video. The clean architecture video that made the good Constantinos, Filemu. Let's make a brief introduction about the clean architecture. Clean architecture to everybody faced that phase of his life when he started to make an application without any proper architecture or so on. But more the time passes, probably an engineer starts to think there is a good practice to do the things. There is some model that I can follow. And the first model that you follow, of course, is Uncle Bob. So the clean architecture and so on. We have presentation layer, domain layer, data layer. Not everybody knows that there is also the framework layer. Is, is, this, another... a, is this a pun? Because I didn't include the framework layer in the video. No, no it's not uh, really strict, uh, but yes, it, it pun, what is a pun? Like a, you, like a I'm way to insult me. No, 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 no. no. Uh, like in a friendly way, of course. No, man, no, no, no. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. <laughs> no, I mean that uh, the part that should have the Android part should be the framework at the end. So nobody's doing that, to be honest. Because now there are a lot of cross-platform, uh, Flutter, uh, React Native, and all other these Cordova. nice painting stuff. Yes. Uh, so coming back to our starting point, you go to Android developer Google. If you went uh, in 2017, 2016, you had uh, this uh, image where there was the view, fragment activity. We have the view model, we have the repository, and then we have the data sources. So first of all, why Google omit totally the domain layer? I don't understand why. If you think it's like a loss of time, boilerplate is useless. So remove the use case part, but in that case, where does the logic, where is the core of the application? Could it be in the view model? Someone put in the view model, some other put even in the repository, even worse. So let's imagine our scenario. We have the uh, mythological creatures API. Mythological creatures, I like that. So we want to get all mythological creatures. So we make our repository, our repository, our data source, first of all, our data source with our REST API that gets the all mythological creatures that has the post, the put, all the crude possible operation that you can make on the REST API. So after that, you start and make a repository. You put a repository that calls the data source and totally wrap the data source. So for each call that you have in data source, you have a call in the repository. Then probably, still if you follow the Google previous than this year architecture, you have the view model, view model calls the repository and that's it. You have like in the view model to put all the way to handle and manage the repositories in view model. The view model will become something very huge because the aim of view model should be produce, provide data, data to the view. So the view should show the view. So what you're basically saying is that when it comes to view model, size matters. Yes. It's not th just that, but it's also that you are against totally the single principle of the solid. So okay. you are putting too much knowledge, too much importance in view model. What does it mean this? Why, why is it very hard? Because imagine you have another screen that is, for example, the detail of your Centaurus, let's say. In the detail of the Centaurus, you will create another view model that calls a repository and all the logic. Google this year decided to put use case. Still against use case probably. But they put it. Like, but they put it. But they put like optional. Optional. Domain layer. Yes, you are not forced to use. So they are like fading a bit, moving to the real clean architecture. 
So in this use, the use case should have the logic. Very interesting. Why the use case should have the logic? Because the logic should be in a place that is in the domain, the business logic. As we've seen from your video, the domain is the core of a clean architecture. Everybody points to the domain. Very important this. So I will make a, a strong ass assertment. Okay, I'm ready. I can say that repository is necessary just if you have a cache. So it's not the use case that is optional. It's the repository that is optional. Okay, so you're basically saying that even though Google says that domain is optional, you're saying that data layer should be optional. Yes, by the way, is everything uh, that we are saying is very, we can say, philosophical because, of course, if, you, if your repository behave like a use case, you are using a use case, even if you call it repository. Another very important point, by the very way, important. because what, what is, is that the semantics is, are important, yes. but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you call it, it matters what yes. it ex exactly does. Shakespeare said the rose still smells like a rose, even if you don't call it rose. So this is our meaning of you don't like it's, it's important. I think having guidelines, I don't really understand what is the point of the Google under developer. Sorry for everybody who disagree, but this is my personal point of view after a few years in, uh, in the field. So the repository, if you are not having a cache, why do you need a repository? The repository should have the logic. If I have something in the cache that can be a room or something else, so you have your data source with room, your local data source, you have your remote data source, and the repository combine the data according if you want to use cache or not. Then the use case called the repository, and there is another point. Use case should be atomic. Okay. Yes. Atomic. Yes, means that it's not possible to divide. Okay. use case. So for example, get uh, mythological centers, not uh, create, not put, not push, just get direct. So there are a way of good practicing is to create a use case very with very important name like get centaurus or get mythological creatures use case. And the only method that uh, is public in that use case should be execute. The other are private. So you are forced to do just that operation. But I can understand by pragmatic way, because sometimes we are hurrying, as you know. You have to find a trade-off of what is good and what is also, you need to be a little bit faster sometimes. Mm -hmm. So this kind of thoughts should be done. It's important to follow principle because it's important for many aspects. It's important when you onboard new guys that everybody's on the same page. But you don't have to follow blindly. It's important also the critic spirit of an engineer. So repository, if there is a cache, use case should be atomic. Don't put too much smartness in view model. Presentation layer is presentation. Should be dumb. Should be dumb. Passive. Passive. One question here. Please. One question. Somebody can say that, okay, Pepe, that's good. I understand what you're saying about not having a cache. So why do I need a repository? But somebody can say that, why not put the repository in case you need the cache later? When I say not to use the repository, thank you. I wasn't meaning don't put at all. But if you have to sacrifice something, don't sacrifice use case. So this that's is very important. important. That, that explains a lot. So basically, you're still saying that you, in, in the best case scenario, you should put everything. You should yes. also have repository. You should also have the use cases. But if you have to sacrifice something, let it be the repository yes. as most of the times it's not going to be used as a first, let's say, a proof of concept or a prototype application. Exactly. Exactly. Still, I'm against that for the record, uh, because as you said, in future you want to put cache. So uh, you, if you didn't put the repository, the work that you have to do is longer. Uh, you have to see in many points where your use case is attached to a data source, something very horrible so it should be better to invest a little bit of time now to be more safe in the future so guys use your model use use case use repository please perfect so i guess we can wrap this up just by recapping what we have discussed so far so yes. i make sure i understand it as well so what we basically said is that we can have a use case belongs in the domain layer has the business logic has some business rules in the best case, it should be atomic. 
yep. as you said. So you should do only one thing and one thing only. Then we can have a, a repository that, that, that belongs in the data layer. This has yes. to do with choreographing different data sources, network, cache, Starlink. Everything or, nice. Yes, or everything, everything. And Bluetooth. Yes. This is also Bluetooth, it's also NFC data. Yes, everything that comes from uh, the data layer, something that is out of the application world should stay in uh, data layer. This is another question that has been asked, like where is Bluetooth, where is NFC, what are those other sensors, where do they belong? But to me, uh, if we think that Wi-Fi is also a sensor, it yes. makes sense to put all sensors data in data layer. Very nice. So Bluetooth is still uh, like a way of communication, like Wi-Fi, like NFC. So still something that is external to our application that we want to retrieve as data. So we'll put, uh, it's not going to be retrofit in case of Bluetooth or NFC, but will be some handler Amazing. with an interface in domain layer, very important. So that we can invert the dependency, like we saw on this video, which by the way, will be linked in the description of this video as well. Pepe, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. It's always a pleasure talking with you. As well. You always give me. me a very nice uh, angle of seeing things, and uh, I guess we will make more discussions like that That's in awesome. the future. We have a lot uh, coming up. I'm pretty excited about that. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Tschüss. Miteinander. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Man, it's nice.